In our last video, we covered how to navigate to the Wikispaces homepage, how to sign in, and how to navigate through the settings so that you can set your preferences up however you want them. In this video, we're going to cover how to navigate the main page of the Wiki, which is where you will be doing most of your work. So what I'm going to do is go to Firefox because that's my preferred web browser. I'm going to navigate to the Wikispaces website. And again, here we see the home page. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to sign in. Now, Pedarosa 2000 is the sign-in that I've created as a student account so that I can show you what you will be able to do as a student. The teacher functions are, at this point, not really relevant to what you need to know. So if for whatever reason I make you an organizer, I can show you how to do those things on an individual basis. But for right now, none of you need to know that. So I'm going to sign in. This takes you to your main Wikispaces page. This, as we saw in the last video, shows you your favorite wikis, which the one that you've been invited to is your favorite. Again here you've got the buttons for dashboard, the new wiki, the settings, the messages. Up here you can go back to your dashboard. You can see your wikis. You can access help and you can sign out. So for right now what we're going to do is click on your favorite wiki and on the left these are the links that I want to show you in this video. This top link takes you back to the home page, which is the page you're seeing now. Pages and Files gives you a list of the pages and files that have been saved to the wiki. And here you'll only see Home. Now you can rename pages and you can redirect pages. The only reason I can think of to rename a page is if, truthfully, I can't think of any. Redirect would go to an ambiguous page or a page that might be named sort of inaccurately. It will also show you who last edited the page and the date that it was last edited. And here you can filter by type or by status. The member link will take you to a list of all of the members of the wiki. I have here two users, so two members. And then I have myself as the organizer and creator. Again, the only reason you would be an organizer is if you would take on additional tasks or if you are doing something else where being an organizer and having those rights would be desirable. Pedarosa2000 is my main student account. Ms. Robin is a ghost account that I created that I could mess with without hurting anybody else. So that's the member list. Recent changes goes to a list of everything that's been changed about this wiki. So for example, two people joined yesterday. And on March 2nd, I was doing a bunch of stuff, uploaded stuff, deleted it, was just kind of playing with it. But here you can see a list of the pages that have been created, deleted, changed in some way. If you go to Manage Wiki, you will see a number of useful functions. So if you go to Permissions, for example, you can see that this wiki is protected, which means that anyone can view pages, but only members of the wiki can edit them. The reason why it's set up this way is so that the articles that you will be working on will not be vandalized by students or other people not associated with our school. Going back to the Manage page, you can see lists of members. You can see the contents. And here you'll have tools. So for example, if you have notifications, you can see what you're monitoring and if 
for example, somebody sent you a message or if there were changes or what have you. Statistics will show you how many page views, how many unique visitors, how many edits, how many messages, and obviously there's just not that much here yet. But going forward you will be able to see that. Badges you can use on some other website. So if you have a blog and you want to show people how to access your page, you can do that. These will go back to the main page of the wiki. So all you'd have to do here is just cut and paste the HTML code and people will be able to click that and visit the page. And there are some other code that you can use, that I can use, so that people can be able to see what's being changed in real time. So this again has been the navigation of the actual wiki page. If you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, in the next video, we'll start getting to work. Have a great day.